you did it. The late night study sessions, the end of year deadlines, all of those assignments. You balanced school, work, and life. You dug deep and achieved so much. It's amazing what you've learned about the world around you, about yourself. It hasn't been easy, but then the most valuable experiences never are. It's been doubly hard given the circumstances of the past year. And now the last essay is handed in. Your final exam has been written. An important chapter has ended, but a new one has just begun. Your narrative written in your voice and your distinct style. Go forth, Trent graduates. Take your knowledge and experience and share it with the world. Because the world needs you now more than ever before. It's more complex, more divided, a planet at the crossroads. And it is waiting for your skills, your expertise, your enthusiasm. It's waiting for you to leave your mark. Congratulations, graduates. You did it. You succeeded. You deserve this moment of recognition. So get comfortable, sign into the chat, join your friends, families, and all those here to cheer you on. It's time for grad from your pad. It's time to celebrate you. Welcome, Trend graduates, to Grad From Your Pad 2021. My name is Sandra Clementine Gesson, and I'm the outgoing president of the Trent Graduate Students Association. Before we begin, I would like to respectfully acknowledge that Trent University is located on the treaty and traditional territory of the Mississauga and Shinabe. We offer our gratitude for their care for and teachings about our earth and our relations. May we honor those teachings. Grad from your pad is certainly one of the most unique convocation ceremonies in Trent history. We will be the first and hopefully the last graduating class to spend our entire year navigating and adapting to new ways of learning and living during a global pandemic. We should all be proud of our accomplishments. What a year! We have come together to overcome new challenges and put our trend education to test inside and outside the lecture hall. Looking ahead, I know that this year and all our years at Trent have prepared us well for whatever the future holds. To my fellow graduates, enjoy the celebration. Today is all about you. You deserve to be celebrated and your family and loved ones who have spent all the years supporting you deserve the opportunity to celebrate alongside you. Congratulations. Now it's time. Let Grad From Your Pad 2021 begin.
Hello everyone. A heartfelt congratulations to our graduates. It is an honor to be sharing this moment with you. I think I speak for all of us here today when I say we are so very proud. My name is Michael Kahn. I am the Provost and Vice President Academic here at Trent University. I recently joined Trent because like you, I wanted to be part of an institution with boundless aspirations. One that enriches lives by encouraging students to go beyond their expectations. In what has been an extraordinary year, it has been heartening to see the commitment, resilience and creativity of our students, faculty and staff all working together in the true Trent spirit. Today we are joined by graduates from Trent's Masters and PhD programs who will go on to shape society in transformational ways through the impact of their research and their scholarly endeavours. Graduates from the Bachelor of Education and Bachelor of Nursing programs also join us today. We have seen the role that our teachers and nurses have played on the front lines of this pandemic and trust that your Trent experience has given you the tenacity and confidence to become leaders in these important professions. I hope that you have cherished your experience at Trent and have many wonderful memories. Whether it be the knowledge and experience gained in your lectures, labs, or on the land, or in participating in college and campus life, such as in sport and recreation, student clubs and societies, or contributing to communities locally and globally, you are now well prepared to make an impact on the world. As you move on, seize the opportunity by dreaming big. You are capable of so much. Go ahead and take on those difficult challenges. Explore. It's a big world out there. Search for your passion. Go beyond your boundaries. You will learn about yourself and the world around you as you discover. Build strong communities by making a difference and inspiring those around you to contribute positively to the fabric of society. We cannot wait to see what you will achieve and to celebrate in the successes that will make your Trent family extremely proud. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you for being part of Trent's journey and for allowing us to be part of yours. Stay safe and well, and congratulations. Good day. Welcome to a beautiful day at Trent's Peterborough campus. My name is Leo Grork. I consider myself fortunate to be the eighth president and vice chancellor of Trent University. Today, I have the distinct honor of congratulating all our graduates on this remarkable occasion. The completion of your university degree is a monumental accomplishment and a highlight of your achievements as a student. It is an achievement that deserves celebration, some reflection, and some well-earned compliments. This is exactly what we want to do here. Pay tribute to you, our newest graduates. Whether you're joining us from around the corner, from another province, or from elsewhere around the globe, I hope you feel the support and love of your Trent family. In recognition of our grad from the pad, I'm joining you from Trent's pad, the pad on the podium of the Battle Library. In honor of this important occasion, I am in full regalia, complete with my green Converse running shoes, a new tradition which has been established by our Honorable Chancellor Stephen Stone. Though we aren't able to be together in person in this year of COVID, I know that parents and families, spouses, partners and friends are joining us to help make this a milestone celebration you won't soon forget. I encourage everyone in the audience to join the conversation, share your enthusiasm, and leave your memories, messages, and shout-outs to the graduates in the comment section. Connections like this are the Trent way. Graduates, I encourage you to revel in the proud and celebratory moments of this occasion. Today does not mark the end of something, but rather the beginning of something new. You are not leaving the Trent community, but joining the ranks of prestigious Trent alumni, including famous authors, scientists, artists, religious and political leaders, as well as teachers, researchers, medical practitioners, and all-round good citizens. 
I believe that Trent has prepared you well for the exciting and challenging adventures ahead. We look forward to welcome you back to campus as a member of our extended family. Enjoy this moment as a special time to imagine a bright and bold future which will create a life of consequence and a purpose that is uniquely your own. Congratulations. President Grork, Provost Khan, members of the graduating class, honorary degree recipients, faculty, family, and friends. I was a student here at Trent back in the 60s. The university was so new then that we didn't have a formalized student government or a newspaper or a radio station. We were all involved in one way or another with creating those institutions and others. In my case, I was particularly involved with the newspaper and in fact was the one who gave Arthur its name. It was meant to be a temporary placeholder since late at night, as we were about to go to print, we still didn't have a name that didn't sound stilted or obvious. And while we all laughed at the name, we thought, well, it'll do for this week, and by next week we'll come up with a real name. Now, of course, over 50 years later, it's still called Arthur, and proudly so. In fact, two years later, when we were founding the radio station, I wanted to call it Radio Free Arthur, but was overruled, and it was called the somewhat staid Trent University Radio Service, and of course, ultimately, simply Trent Radio. So back then, Trent had only recently been founded under the guiding principles set by its first president, Tom Simons. But those principles live on today. Tom became a mentor of mine. He passed away just a few months back, but his vision for Trent, his legacy, endures and has shone through each of you as you have so admirably and resiliently adapted to the extraordinary challenges of this past year with the agility, the flexibility, the curiosity, the openness, and the compassion that has been fostered within you each and every day here at Trent. Tom's vision was that to challenge the world requires education, but not just any education. Rather, an education which trains us to think in new and innovative ways. And the foundation of that unique education is a multidisciplinary approach to formal classes combined with a college system of interaction and social learning. That, in very short form, is the secret sauce of Trent University. That's the Trent system. If you have heard me speak before, you know that I think of you, of us, as being a new hope. The phrase a new hope comes from the title of the first Star Wars film, and it reflects my belief that you are, we are, like a small rebel force whose mission is to save the world. A student asked me recently whether my thoughts had changed in any way because of what we've all been through this year. My answer was, and is, that if anything, I believe even more that you are the new hope. The pandemic is starting to recede, but even when it's gone, there will always be challenges to face. And because the world around us is changing at such a rapidly accelerating pace, the next decades will continue to be tumultuous in one way or another. Whether we're talking about environmental change with climate at its core, or technological change with artificial intelligence at its core, or social change with isolation and divisiveness at its core, and democracy under threat, the world in the coming years 
is going to be almost unrecognizable. The world is going to need to be saved. And that's where you come in. The ability to respond effectively in the face of these massive changes is going to require a certain kind of mind, a certain kind of heart, a certain kind of soul, a certain kind of graduate. You. A product of the Trent system, someone who thinks in new and innovative ways. Someone who is part of the Rebel Alliance. So I congratulate you, each and every one of you, for your efforts and experiences here at Trent. Many students will graduate this year here in Canada and around the world, but you are unique because you have been, are, and will remain forever an integral part of the Trent University community. You are forever imbued with the unique secret powers of the Trent system. But with these powers comes responsibility. Your responsibility is in every day, in ways sometimes large, but most often small. Your responsibility is simply to save the world. And you will do that. Not that you need to do anything spectacular, but rather in your, our, everyday lives, using the skills which have been imbued in all of us here at Trent to face and embrace the challenges which will absolutely arise in the coming decades, not in anger or frustration, not with rigidity, not by saying, well, that's the way it's always been done, but rather, as I said earlier, with the agility, the flexibility, the curiosity, the openness and the compassion that has been fostered within you each and every day here at Trent. And if each of us can, even just a little bit, work these qualities into our everyday lives and relationships and interactions, then together we can be a powerful influence, a movement towards saving a world that must be saved. Yes, the time has come to start saving the world. So I say to you now, by the powers vested in me as Chancellor of Trent University, I now declare the degrees, the diplomas, and the certificates recommended by the University Senate be conferred upon you, the graduating students, our new hope. Congratulations and well done. Before all words can be spoken, we bring greetings to all of creation. We give thanks for the rising of the sun and the light and warmth that it brings. We give thanks for another day of life. We give thanks to those who care for us in these challenging times. We give thanks to the scientists who uncover the secrets of the universe to find ways to protect and heal us. Mr. Chancellor, Mr. President, honored guests, graduates. In the custom of the first peoples of this land, we offer the sound of the drum and our voices to honor our mother of the earth. We send our profound and deepest thanks to all of creation. We greet the world with humility and embrace the richness and diversity of life. In the Anishinaabe teachings, the sound of the drum represents the original sound of the universe. The heartbeat of creation reverberates still throughout the universe and infuses our being with life. We sound the drum to connect us with all of creation, to honor and celebrate life, and to remember to live with humility and kindness among all living beings. We offer these words of praise to those who are graduating this day. We offer these words of thanksgiving to those who have made these accomplishments possible. We offer these words of respect and honor to those who bring dignity to our lives. 
We offer these words to remind us of the seven grandfather, seven grandmother teachings to live with respect, kindness, honesty, sharing, courage, and strength. We offer this song to restore our minds. And we offer this song to accompany you on all of your travels. May you travel well, and may your lives be filled with grace and dignity. Mr. Chancellor, Mr. President, honored guests, graduates, I have the pleasure of presenting Unity and the Honor Song. They will sing a song called Sacred Fire. This song honors the indomitable spirit within all living beings. Unity. Now that we've seen all the official addresses, it's time to see you, graduates of 2021. Joining the online chat, cheer on your classmates as they share their I did it photos and videos, and let the spirit of Trent come into your home.
Chancellor, uh, President Grork, uh, university colleagues, and most importantly, graduates, their families and friends sharing in this celebration. I want to extend my warmest personal congratulations to each member of the graduating class. What an incredible accomplishment in this difficult, difficult time. I'm humbled and deeply grateful to the President and Governing Council for inviting me to join you as a Trent University graduate today. And now begin your next adventure in this very unique once in a century context. So many things are changing. Navigating this uncertainty is intimidating, exhausting. But here's a hopeful thing. Throughout history, the biggest leaps in innovation have happened during periods of upheaval and instability. And this massive external disruption, amplifying several undercurrents, is forcing a global reset in our priorities for the well being of people and our planet. First, the problems have been crystallized. Complacency, which allowed us to muddle along, turns out to be disastrous in a public health crisis. The cracks have been exposed and we can no longer ignore them. Seeing a problem, even a very complex problem, and its impacts clearly is both instructive and galvanizing. Second, the toolbox we have at our disposal to tackle complex problems is better than ever. It includes, of course, extraordinary advances in science and technology, but also in social and systems innovation. We have more information at our fingertips than previous generations could access in a lifetime. In combination, these tools have the potential to transform the public, private and community sectors, every industry, from healthcare to energy, from finance to education, and to do so everywhere. And third and most importantly, this global reset coincides with a generational shift and will be fueled by your generation's talent, skills, and sense of purpose. Human ingenuity is already being unleashed in every part of the world as a new generation of innovators from a broad and diverse backgrounds and many places come together to find better and more equitable solutions. But the pandemic has not only brought clarity and urgency, it's also shown us what's possible. Just one example, Almost 2 billion doses of vaccines developed by several different groups around the world have been administered less than 18 months after a new deadly virus was identified. And we absolutely must get vaccines to everyone as quickly as possible. But if we can come this far in one year, imagine what we, imagine what you, can do together in the next five, 10, 50. The impossible has become possible. You are graduating today because you are determined, resilient, and resourceful. These qualities plus your education from this superb institution gives you everything you need to help shape a better future. There's no question that this black swan event will launch a truly remarkable period in human history. And you will be right there, making your own unique contribution to the issues that matter most to you and to your fellow travelers. You can do hard things and you will flourish. Thank you again to Trent University and to the graduating class of 2021 for letting me share this very special occasion with you. My warmest congratulations 
and my very best wishes for every success in the years ahead. Thank you. So good afternoon, uh, Mr. Chancellor, uh, Mr. President, faculty and students. My congratulations to all those graduates who are being celebrated today in this different kind of convocation. I'm honored to be among you today and to wear these robes signifying an honorary degree in science. But deep in my heart, it would be more appropriate if I stood before you draped in sackcloth and ashes. And I'm gonna tell you why. In the nearly 50 years since my own convocation, science has compiled and confirmed overwhelming evidence of two urgent ecological crises affecting our planet, loss of biodiversity and the rising tide of global climate change. The scientists of my generation have played a key role in analyzing the data and sounding the alarm. I should say sounding the alarm repeatedly as the scope and speed of these twin crises grow ever more ominous. For decades, we have known that we need solid, meaningful progress to reverse these trends, led by governments, businesses, and communities. By that measure, my generation has failed you, and you have every right to judge us harshly. Bill McKibben has warned us on climate change, to win slowly is to lose. Since 1970, atmospheric CO2 levels have risen from 325 parts per million to almost 420 with a continuing upward trend. Despite some significant progress on Ontario coal plants, we have yet at the global level to even begin to win at all. The same goes for biodiversity. Insect populations and nature reserves have shown declines of up to 75%. North American populations of breeding birds have fallen by 3 billion. We are losing badly. I harp on this grim news, not to depress you, but to challenge you. Your generation absolutely must do better than mine in changing the path of these twin crises. Good decisions are founded on good science. And if you can use your training to contribute in that way, by all means do so. But your role as an informed citizen may be even more important. Meaningful action by political leaders depends much more on public opinion and public pressure than on science alone. If we've learned nothing else over the last 50 years, that much is clear. The American author Alice Walker declared, activism is the rent that I pay for living on this planet. I suggest that is especially true for science graduates. You have credibility to counter the naysayers and to speak up against the deniers. You have the skills to communicate effectively. You can make your voice heard and be an advocate for positive change. So write letters, fight to conserve green space, join marches in the street, support activists young and old, help elect politicians who share our urgency. I know that this kind of activism may initially feel outside your comfort zone. It is for most of us, but it may be the single most important contribution you can make to the future of this planet. Over a century ago, poet John McRae penned a challenge of his own. To you from failing hands, we throw the torch. Be yours to hold it high. Such is my message to you today. Despite our best efforts, my generation has failed to resolve the most challenging crises of our time. To you, we pass the torch and in you, we vest our hopes for a sustainable future. Thank you. Are you ready, Leo? I'm ready. Happy trails to you until we meet.
it again. again. Happy trails to you. Keep smiling until then. Who cares about the clouds if we're together? Just sing a song and bring this sunny weather. Oh, happy, happy trails to you till we meet again. Thank you, Mr. Chancellor. Thank you, Mr. President. <laughs> happy trails, everyone. Happy trails.